Guys, I hope you all are doing fantabulously well. This is the beginning of week two of stage four. And if you guys are back, um, let me know how it's been for you guys. And just your sh share your experiences, your triumphs, your challenges. Um, just curious how other businesses and other professions are doing. Um, for us, it's been interesting, challenging. Um, each day is a new day. And by that, I mean a new plan for the day. Um, hurdles kind of crop up uh, along the day, sometimes a few times in the day. That just uh, alters the way you've been doing things for years. And um, as a consequence, you just have to just revise and refine your plan. Interesting process. Um, bit tiring, but interesting. So I have a new routine. Um, by that I mean, not me just get up and just get going with the day. So now, you literally get up and do nothing. I mean, just get up, plan, get into the right mind space. What am I going to do? Uh, just think it through. Think about the, the challenges that you had and come up with a plan to overcome it. Get into the right positive space before you start the day. Uh, I must thank my sister for this. Uh, thank you, Jenny. Uh, it's working pretty well. And uh, yeah, so if you guys have any routines or any suggestions on uh, what you're doing, share it with me and maybe I'll adapt it and see how things go. But like I said, it is the beginning of week two and excited. But some people, especially if you're a smoker, might be a bit more excited simply because tomorrow you'll know whether you can pick up a pack of cigarettes whenever you're going to buy your essential goods. Because tomorrow, the High Court in Pretoria is going to tell us with the smoking, well, with the cigarettes um, are now going to be sold again. This, by the way, is the application. It's a hundred odd pages. I probably killed a tree or two just printing it. So I'm going to save you the copy, or save you the trouble of getting a copy and um, we can save some trees. But I'll tell you, in essence, what this is about. So the relief is twofold. An application is made, um, by the way, it's citing the president um, as the first respondent. Um, and the application is, seeks two reliefs. The first is trying to compel um, certain information, particularly minutes that relate to the command council's decision um, in respect of certain regulations that deal with um, the cigarette issue, as well as discussions that led up to certain decisions eventually being made. That's the first part, so basically compelling the discovery of information. The second and more crucial, more relevant, is whether or not uh, cigarettes should be deemed to be an essential goods, and thus whether the sale of it can resume. Now, like I said, this will be heard tomorrow. Um, the basis of the application is there's multiple reasons. Um, so I'm just going to summarize this for you. Is The first is that the regulations in terms of uh, prohibiting this or banning it affects the freedoms of all smokers and said that there's approximately 11 million odd smokers. It's a lot. Um, oh, I used to be one, by the way, many years ago. But yeah, affecting some 11 million smokers. And um, that it also affects the health and welfare um, of these individuals, both physically and psychologically. Um, and here they make reference to the repercussions or the consequences of sudden um, withdrawal symptoms resulting from nicotine. Um, like I said, I was a smoker before, and on a few occasions I tried to give it up. The first two days are the worst because of the nicotine, so I understand fully about um, this, these nicotine <laughs> withdrawals. Um, yeah, and it goes on to obviously the commercial impact on the industry at large. But the high watermark, and I suppose the emphasis of the entire application, um, deals with the legitimacy of those provisions in the regulations. Um, it has been very repeatedly and harshly criticized, saying that those provisions are 
illogical, irrational, unnecessary, um, even constituting a constitutional violation, um, stating that certain ministers um, often have not just exceeded their powers, but in some instances actually abused it. And in this process, um, it's likely to cause or incite or um, precipitate public resentment. Um, I'm oversimplifying. The papers are quite harsh in terms of the criticisms. Um, so that's in essence what is being portrayed. But it also goes on to say that there was an expectation created by the president when the announcement was, or the comment was, that the cigarettes, sale of cigarettes would be resumed. And it says that the sudden reversal of that by the subsequent ministers um, and the relevant departments that are authorized in terms of the regulations um, is without a legal basis. It also says that it criticized the manner in which that process um, or the reversal had been done. So far as also extending to that there hadn't been proper consultation, actually in fact no consultation, and that in itself leads to procedural unfairness in terms of that decision. They also make reference to other countries such as Korea, China, where they were in a far worse position in terms of their infection rates and they those countries put in place very, very stringent, very harsh measures in terms of restricting access and things that needed to be done so as to curb, the, to, to reduce the infection rate. But none of those policies in those countries sought to restrict smoking. And thus, they drew the parallel that us doing it um, was illogical and without a proper basis. Uh, mention is also made in the papers that the argument that it is for health reasons must be dismissed. It's flawed. Um, because he said if it was for these reasons, then it should have extend, been extended to, well, things like sweets should not be sold. Things with sugar shouldn't be sold because it's diabetes related and um, yeah. For health reasons, those shouldn't be sold as well if that principle applies or is, is the reason why cigarettes shouldn't be sold. In the response that has been filed, that's why that I have a copy of in for our Ms. Gosuzana Zuma, um, she deals primarily with the procedural aspects of it, um, saying that the application is flawed for a whole host of reasons. Um, like I said, it's dealing only with procedure. So the matter will be heard tomorrow. And um, I this is going to be quite an interesting matter. And I say this because a lot of other industries, a lot of other professions will be looking at this um, because a lot of the principles that have been stated here, a lot of the reasons for the application could find relevance not just within the tobacco industry, but could be extended to other industries and other professions and therefore I think the a lot of a lot of people besides just immediate smokers and people from the, the tobacco industry will be looking carefully at the judgment tomorrow because it could have far-reaching implications and it could very well open the floodgates to other industries to challenge um, the limitations currently imposed. So, let me know what you think about these submissions. Um, do you agree with them? What's your viewpoint? Um, yeah, care to know. Um, obviously, we've been following this very closely. Um, yeah, I'd like to know what you think about these things. Um, if you have any comments, you have any queries, just drop a comment and give us a shot. And I'll try and get back to you. Because I'm very curious about how this is going to unfold tomorrow. And um, I'll keep you guys posted. Till then, stay well, stay blessed.